Hi guys, I'm going to make a very quick product review. This product is not sponsored. I bought it myself with money from my pocket. Anyhow, I think it's very interesting for the ones who are working not only designing but in electronics repairing, finding the short circuit, which one is the capacitor that could be in short circuit, stuff like that. So it's a great product. And that's the reason I'm going to make a quick review about it. Now, let's start it. I already unboxed it and use it. So this is not an unboxing. But anyhow, let's make some comments about it. One of the first observations I wanted to share with you is the battery. It's not a normal AA battery, but the main point is about its connection. So please pay attention to it. The positive is where is the string. And generally speaking, this is something different that we ever saw before because most of the time the spring goes to the negative. So please pay attention to do not put the battery in the wrong position. It uses a micro USB charger and also we can download the pictures from there. As the specification says, it goes from minus 20 degrees to 300 degrees Celsius from 4 to 572 Fahrenheit and the tolerance of the picture the tolerance of the measurement is about plus minus 2 percent or 2 degrees Celsius we hope that's right now let's watch it in action Power button selector between Celsius and Fahrenheit, image and palette of colors for different kind of background if you're going to save the file in black and white or in color. This is a kind of Frankenstein I'm making. It's a preheater for the room for winter because here the average temperature is 4 degrees when I am not here. So I'm going to use it with a solar panel and I will increase the temperature to something easy to heat when I come back or maybe it's warm enough to use the laboratory when I come back in winter. Now we are in a gas and electricity economical crisis in Europe and we have to think ahead and go smart with some solutions. So I will not talk today about the Frankenstein, but I'm going to talk about what is here. It's a small improvised uh, system with Arduino Nano and uh, one voltage regulator, uh, solid state DC relay, and the aluminum radiator. And what I'm using as heating elements is a soldering iron heating element, two of it, one in each side of it. The system is made to work in 55 degrees maximum after that the microcontroller will shut down the solid state relay and the whole thing will cool down until it gets 55 again less uh, less than 55 and we'll be uh, shooting between that is close to the range of the maximum capacity i can get from that this is a preheater it's not a heater it's just to keep warm with the solar system about 52 degrees Celsius is the measurement. Here we can watch the internal aluminum uh, radiator too 
and let's see how it looks like. Beauty. This is what my hand looks like and now let's see the heat transferred to the ESD mat. Palette will change from color to black and white. To take a picture, punch the button and that's it. And with image, you can go through the image, the pictures you took in the menu. To transfer the file, it's very easy, just connect the USB and it behaves like a memory and will appear the file in your computer so just discharge the image and that's it doesn't require extra software what consideration do you need to know if you're going to buy one instrument like that for your electronics laboratory number one the temperature range every company has a lot of models and the model depends on the temperature range in my case, I care more about to know what is going on until the 280 plus degrees Celsius. So that's the reason I'm using a 300 degrees one. But you can find them for 45 degrees, 65 degrees, uh, something like that. If you want to detect fever in a person, of course. But uh, for a control board, electrical uh, panel, with the 65 you can find the issues but how the heat is spread in a surface aluminum spa space or something like that that's the reason i need the 300 model specifically for it so that's the number one number two if you need the recognition of the image or on, you only need the the spot of the heat that will be the key variable for the value and cost of the device. Of course, if you want better definition image, you will always need more pixels per image too. And that's the reason why we can find units even in the cost of the thousand dollars or even to six thousand dollars. But for the low cost in the electronics laboratory to detect a hot spot for me, and I recommend this for the guys who are starting in electronics with low budget. This is the, one of the best models you can find in the market. Let's watch now that I don't care too much about the background image. What I want is to find the hot spot. How is it worthy? I'm expecting to find here one hot spot. And it is the voltage regulator. But what is telling me there is a second hot spot that is the Arduino voltage regulator. And that's the reason why I get two hot spots. If I'm using a device like that, probably I can expect to get some temperature in the voltage regulator. And I can go for it but it doesn't tell me where is the other hot spot unless I run all the laser around it. And it's not so easy because there is a difference between where the laser is pointing than where the sensor is sensing. In this one, there is not laser. It's what you see, it's what you get. Did you get it now? The link of the manufacturer web page is down below if somebody wants to reach it. I can tell you guys, I recommend this device as a low cost, very good accessible solution for anybody who is starting in electronics or working even the professional level. It works every penny you pay and is very cheap compared with other products in the market. So I will recommend this product. Thanks by watching the video. See you next time. Don't forget 
to like and subscribe. We need it in the channel to survive.